as you guys all know, I got rid of my uh, topper for the Toyota pickup, so I'm gonna go and get a two box set, two box setup. It's a bit more smaller and more easy to carry all my uh, stuff that I need to. So we're at Lowe's here. We're gonna go check out some of their two box. I have one on eyeball that I've been looking at, so we're gonna see if it's good. It's uh, made by Craftsman's. For the third gen Toyota pickup, the total bed from Y to Y is 60 inch uh, width, and then from where it sits in. So it's 60 inch from bed to bed, but from where it has to sit in, it's 57 to 58 inches. So you got to make sure you measure that. And this is the one that we're wanting. So we're going to go ahead and get the tape measure and check it out real quick. All right, guys. So the total length of this toolbox is 61 and a half, which is fine. And then where it mounts, the mounting place has a lot of play. So you can mount it from anywhere. So this one will totally fit our truck. I like it. It has the flush one in. It's not like the regular s square one, rectangular one. But this one will work. I like this one because, too, it's a single door. So the whole door opens up. It's not a dual door. And it has locks on both sides. So you can just open on any side. Once you press it open, it'll open back up. So it's really nice. So I think I might grab myself one of this. All right, guys. So we're holding off on the two box. The one that was open that I was showing you guys that one was an open display it didn't have the mounting tab it did have the keys and stuff i asked the uh worker there she was able to give me a discount so it's originally 239 she said she can do 200 <laughs> and then the mounting for the hardware is 25 bucks extra you buy separately so it's 225 versus 239 or just buy 239 but there's also a there's also the same one like that on facebook market and the guy is willing to let it go for 140 has everything the locks the mounting the only thing that's bad is that he drilled two small holes in the back of it to mount it to his truck but i'm sure jb well can fix it so in the next hour here we're gonna meet up with that guy and take a look at his box if his box is good then we're just gonna buy his for 140 same thing um it just has those two drill holes that he did but it's all good i can always patch that up with jb well whatever so that's the plan so hopefully we get a toolbox today for yoda and uh we'll get her set up Okay, everyone, so it got late and it's nice and dark now, but I did end up picking up the new toolbox. So I ended up buying it from Lowe's. Um, there was a guy on Facebook Market <laughs> listing the same toolbox <laughs> for sale. He had it for 175 and then I offered him 140 so I picked it up for 140 bucks. It's in great condition. Same model, same thing, has all the mounts. The only thing that's wrong with this one was that it, he drilled two holes in the back of it, but that's not a big deal. Just for extra mounting on his Tacoma. He had like a newer Tacoma. But this is what it looks like. You do have to leave a little bit of gap because once the door opens, you have to make sure it clears the wind the back window. It's really nice. It doesn't stick out far too. You can see that right there. And I really like this style. <laughs> the style where it's angled down instead of just like regular rectangle. It just looks more prettier. <laughs> and there's still room down there. About three inches of room to go underneath that. That's what it looks like over here. So the nice thing about this is that you can have one side that's locked and then one side that's unlocked and you can open it from any way. So this side is unlocked right now. So you can just press it. Voila. So the toolbox is held up by some J bolts. So these are basically J hooks. It just looks like a J. And what it does is it goes under here and that's all it is. It just goes under here, comes out, put a washer, put a lock nut, nut it down. You can put four, four of those but I just ended up putting two on this side <coughs> and I ended up putting three on this side just for the heck of it. But it is pretty sturdy, man. Um, you cannot move it at all. It has this little tray here. You can put a little light stuff right here. And then those two hoes that I was talking about was right here, quarter inch hose. So what I, what I ended up doing was I got a quarter inch boat, just a quarter, just a half inch. I put a washer and then wash on the other side and a bowl on the other side and I just put gray RTV here just to make it waterproof because I do love washing my truck. So I also want to make sure that it's fully waterproof and make sure that water and moist doesn't get on here. And so I ended up buying new J hooks because the one that he gave me were only uh, was only a quarter inch J hook and these are 516 J hooks so just a little bit bigger. So I ended up getting new uh new J hooks, new washers nuts and I also bought this little mat here. This mat is from Craftsman. It's made specifically for these two boxes. So it's the right it's the right length. So I ended up getting this mat here just to uh, help absorb sound. And probably in the summer summertime when it gets a bit warmer, 
I'll go ahead and put duct tape right here so it just holds it in place. Um, I, I usually carry gear oil. I usually carry uh, extra uh, gallon of oil, motor oil, and I usually have coolant, but I, I'll have to go buy another one. But I'll usually have another coolant bottle, and those are all extra fluid. I have my ear compressor. And then this bag here, this bag here has all my recovery gear and all my extra CV boots and stuff like that. Um, I was just in a rush, but usually I have this bag in the back of my cab. And that's what really takes a lot of space in the back of my cab. <laughs> but I was in a rush, so I decided to just put the whole bag in here. But tomorrow or sometime this week, I'm going to go ahead and take everything out and organize it. Or I might just leave the way it is. But there are some stuff that I want to take out so that it's more easy to access. Like toe straps and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and take out some of the stuff from here and organize it. And either remove this bag and have everything out. Or maybe I'll leave some stuff in here. But I'll show you guys another video later on once I have everything organized. But for right now, it's just a quick rush. <coughs> quick rush. That's what it looks like. It's really, really nice. I like it. Um, I will go ahead and remove this. I'm going to go ahead and remove this logo here. Just because I don't want this. This thing is like a big red flat here. So I'll go ahead and remove that in the summertime. Or sometimes later down the week. I'll go ahead and spray some um, <coughs> some of that adhesive remover. Goof off. And uh, this is a quick tour of what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. And again, I, like I said earlier in my videos, I like the single doors. There's the toolbox that have two doors where it goes open up on each side. But for me, I prefer just having the single door. One last look around and give you guys a quick walk around of what it looks like. So you can see here, it's that big Craftsman logo right there. I'll go ahead and remove that logo later on. Looks really, really nice. I like it. It's nice to have a topper, but when you have a topper, you just kind of lose the ability of the whole truck thing and you can't climb in climb out as easy and you can't carry anything that's tall so with the tr tool toolbox it's kind of like 50 50 you have a little bit of everything here you can secure your lust your uh, your luggage and you still have a little bit of the truck bill left so i like it that's what it looks like right here guys i hope you guys like it and if you guys are looking to get a toolbox um, this is what you should go for, you know, uh, 61 inch long and like I said, the bed itself is 58 inches. So from here, outside to outside, it's about 60 inch, 61 inch. And then from the inside of the bed is 57 inches. And this one here from the outside, outside 61 and a half. So it fits perfectly. And you can see all this room right here. You can adjust it so you can slide it back and out, out more. So I have an, I have it even out as much as possible. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a toolbox for the third generation Toyota pickup. Should fit most, most pickup from uh, late 80s to early 90s. So hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys do. If you guys got a toolbox, if you guys do anything special inside, any kind of modification you guys do, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time.